Here at News 5, we're committed to highlighting individuals and organizations making Northeast Ohio a better land. Tonight, our Mike Brookbank takes us to an artist co-op trying to position itself for the future despite the pandemic. An old elementary school. This was my dream to have a collaborative art space. Transformed into a community art center. Because it's so needed here in, in the Heights area. The Coventry Peace Campus. Peace stands for people enhancing a community's environment. Opened in 2011. Celeste Constantino's Ensemble Theater was the first tenant to move in. We like to do socially conscious work. It's not uncommon for the performances here. Try to bring an array of diverse voices in terms of the plays that we choose. To reflect the issues happening outside the walls of this building. So it really does create a platform to endorse and kind of move those conversations forward in a way. In addition to the theater, Artful on the second floor provides studio space for two dozen artists. To just see all the kind of civic and community-based programming that I see coming out of this building into the community is wonderful. The Coventry Peace Campus is working to financially secure its future. It's been very trying over the last couple of years. By kicking off a $100,000 for 100 years campaign to lock in a long-term lease and renovate. It was built for young children, and so there are features such as our bathrooms that were built for little folks, and now we've got the general public coming in, so we need to do those types of renovations. Constantino tells me, much like the Cleveland Museum of Art, the investment in this campus can pay off big. To see kind of like what that organization did for University Circle, I feel like this corner could be a big key um, in the identity of this, you know, neighborhood. Using the arts to strengthen the Coventry Business District while offering a creative outlet for decades to come. We're really excited that we have the opportunity to get a 99-year lease and to have that security to continue to move forward after the pandemic. Reporting in Cleveland Heights, Mike Brookbank, News 5.